Well, hello everyone. Very good to see you again. I'm Anne Marie Green alongside uh, Vladimir Dutier. We are going to have the latest on uh, the tragedy at that music festival in Houston for you. But before we get to that, they are celebrating a big win at the White House, Vlad. The uh, championship bucks are going to be there. <laughs> nice. I see what you did there, Anne Marie. I see what you did yeah. there. <laughs> uh, you had me going for a while. Yes, that is True. happening. Uh, uh, absolutely <laughs> happening. But also, they're celebrating because of what happened on Friday night. Late Friday night when we were all refreshing our phones uh, and our correspondents on the Hill, including Nancy Cordes <laughs> and Nicole Killian and Chris Van Cleve and everybody was anxiously awaiting to see what was going to happen in Washington, D.C. Well, let's talk about that. President Biden's signature is on uh, is all the bipartisan infrastructure bill right now needs to become a law. And this is after months and months and months of negotiations. The House finally moved the legislation across the finish line late Friday evening. President Biden touted what the trillion dollar plan will accomplish at a news conference over the weekend. It's going to create more jobs, good paying jobs, union jobs that can't be outsourced. And they're going to transform our transportation system for the most significant investments in passenger rail, the most significant investment in 50 years, in roads and bridges, the most significant investment in 70 years, and more investment in public transit than we've ever, ever made, period. While the president celebrates this win for his agenda, his social spending package could still face an uphill battle in Congress. Nancy Cordes is joining us right now from the White House to talk about what's coming next. Uh, so, Nancy, you heard Amory and I sort of joking about every reporter in Washington, <laughs> D.C., and some <laughs> not in Washington, like those of us here in New York, refreshing our phones, looking at our emails right. to see what was going on on Friday. Um, there's nothing on the president's public schedule about signing this infrastructure bill into law today. So what gives? Well, he wants to have a big signing ceremony and he wants to bring Democrats and